What's up my peoples, it's Mohammed here from Tekka Reviews, back again with another video. Now you may have seen my recent review of the Yabba V10 projector and saw how awesome that product was. But just in case you missed it, make sure you guys check that out after this video. Now from a visual perspective, the projector did everything right. However, when it comes to sound, I did feel like the projector was lacking in this department. Fast forward a couple of hours, I decided to find a soundbar to connect to my Yabba V10 projector and came across the majority Bowfell soundbar, which at the time was the best seller on Amazon. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing, testing and reviewing the majority Bowfell soundbar and find out why people are purchasing this device. But before we do that, as always guys, if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, then please support your boy by hitting that like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date each time I release a new vid. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Right, so first things first, let's check out the packaging. On front, you have the majority logo, as well as an image and name of the device. You also have 3 years warranty, which is very nice to see. And finally, towards the back, you have some product features and image again. Once opened, the first thing you will see is a user manual, followed by an RCA audio cable, the majority Bowfell soundbar, one remote controller, and finally, one power adapter. Now, when checking the user manual, it did say that an audio cable was included inside. However, it appears that the cable was not provided. So yeah, not a great start there. In regards to the product breakdown, the device weighs roughly around 600 grams and has a length of 39 centimeters, with a height of seven centimeters and a width of five centimeters. The material is made from plastic, which feels pretty strong and sturdy. On front, you have the speaker, as well as a remote control sensor, an LED indicator light. On top, you have the majority soundbar. Towards the back, you have a USB input, optical input, and power input. And finally, on the side, you have the power and mode button, volume control buttons, and finally, the audio input. When it comes to the remote controller, you have your standard function buttons, including power, mode, and volume controls. Now, the remote does come with two AAA batteries included inside which was very very nice to see. The setup process is very straightforward. To connect a device via Bluetooth, start by connecting the power cable and the LED indicator light should then appear. Next, press the mode button again until you see a blue flashing indicator light. This will put the soundbar in Bluetooth ready mode. Once the soundbar is located on your device and connected successfully, the blue indicator light should stop flashing and you should be good to go from here. To connect the device via audio cable, select the mode button again until a green indicator light appears. For optical mode, press the mode button again until you see an orange indicator light. And finally, for USB mode, select the mode button until you see a light blue indicator light. In regards to the technical specifications, the soundbar has a 50 watt subwoofer built inside and has five supported modes, which include Bluetooth, AUX, RCA, optical, and USB. The device also comes with customizable equalizer settings with three sound modes, which are rock, jazz, and flat. Finally, the Bowfell soundbar also includes two stereos built inside and has three years warranty in case any issues come up later on in the future. Now for some testing. In this section, I'm just going to do a super quick demo showcasing low, medium, and max volume that the soundbar outputs. On front, you have the iGeek logo, as well as an image and name of the device. You also have some product features towards the bottom, which include motion detection and siren. On the side, you have some QR codes for Android and iOS to download the Cloud Edge app. And finally, on top, you have some product details and company information. Once opened, the first thing you will see is a user manual, followed by the 1080p FHD security camera one micro USB cable to charge the camera, tools and screws for installation, and finally... Now, while I was testing the different connection modes available using my projector, I noticed that when connected via Bluetooth, there appeared to be an audio delay while watching movies and TV shows. I tested this on both Netflix and Amazon Prime video, but still noticed the delay. The soundbar was definitely lagged by a second, and I pretty much expected this, as the soundbar was connected via Bluetooth, and the distance from the projector to the soundbar was more than 2 meters away. However, once I connected an audio cable from the soundbar to the projector, the sound delay issue was then resolved and no further audio lags had occurred. Using the soundbar for music is great, although if you are looking for serious space, then you probably won't be getting a lot from this device. 
due to the small 50 watt subwoofer built inside. Overall, I am super happy with the majority Bofell soundbar. And for the price you pay, you really do get your money's worth here guys. The soundbar works great for both music and watching movies, and the option to connect through 5 different modes is greatly appreciated. The soundbar can definitely get loud, and the ability to customise equaliser settings is awesome. To conclude, if you're looking for a soundbar and don't want to spend hundreds of pounds buying one, then the majority Bofell soundbar is a device you should definitely look into. In regards to pricing, you can pick up the majority Bofell soundbar from Amazon for around £40, and you can find the link to purchase in the description below. But that's all from me guys, what are your thoughts on today's product and is this something that you would purchase? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Mohammed from Tekka Reviews and I'll see you all in the next video.